Good morning. Welcome to Thursday. Sensei says, today you might be asked to open up to something alien or strange. From my smartphone to yours, keep streaming for your Thursday Namaste Today. Good morning, and welcome to Namaste Today, a Metro Spiritual Way to start your day. I'm your host and spiritual life coach, Christopher Witecki. Namaste, my friend. So nice to see you again, and welcome home. Well, today I'm coining spiritual miracles and quantum breakthroughs. That's because step 22 is what rules the day, and I'm super excited. Sensei says, don't be too surprised if something alien or foreign is presented to you today. And expect the unexpected. It's going to be an electric, interesting day. But before we do that, first, let's look at the Zodiac weather. Today is Thursday, May 12, 2016. And astrologically, the human race has reached step 22, Taurus. That is the quantum step. That is the breakthrough step. So everything is electric and things can kind of go off in the next 24 hours. The ruling number today is 4 and the ruling planet is, planet is Uranus. Mercury is still metrograde, incidentally, and today the emotional tone is ruled by Leo. The moon is in Leo, so our hearts are online. Our hearts are wanting to be there uh, and enjoy our lives. But Mercury is metrograde, uh, therefore our mind is seeing things a little differently, and our mental focus is on inner and outer balance. So we're mentally focused on balance. Our heart is focused on love. So Sensei says, your story is probably more profound than you thought. And that's what I want to talk about today before I go into my three breaths and give you uh, what the spirit guides have to say. That is, I think everyone on the planet has a bit of a wake-up call in the sense that no matter what you thought you were going to do or how far it was going to go, in some ways you were right and in some ways you were wrong. And in the ways that I argue you were wrong is, for those who really are spiritually progressing, I think you were wrong in the sense of you were thinking too small as far as what was going to happen next. And that really comes from how I add up the planets. I'll talk about that in the Zen Den for my subscribers, like showing you why in the planets I think that is. But uh, what it means is that, you know, you must expect the unexpected. We don't know what's around the corner, although we think we do. And if you need any evidence of this, I'll just keep referring to Donald Trump. I mean, who would have thought, right? Uh, So... That just shows you, just in quantum spiritual mechanics, okay, like the the possibilities of what can happen. And in your life, too, uh, who knows? That's just it. So spiritual miracles and quantum breakthroughs will likely happen in the next 24 hours. And my astro citation for this is Mars is at 4 degrees and Saturn is at 4 degrees. So those are two quantums that are looking to throw the switch. So without further ado, let me take three breaths and channel a megascope for you. This is a channel from my guides. It's based on astrology, and I trust that everyone watching, it it fits. It just works that way when you work with spirit. I recommend for your spiritual calisthenic that you take three breaths each day, too. It really uh, will connect you to your heart and get you on your way, one step a day. Okay, thank you for doing that with me. So my friend, it is an electric day and uh, Spirit was very clear on what to talk to you about. First of all, there's a, uh, there's a grand trine of fire, as we say in classic astrology, and so there's, we're lit up today uh, as we go through the day and energetically getting excited. The universe is trying to get you excited. Now in the beginning of the day, you know, when you're working up to integrity, um, that excitement can be anxiousness, anxiety, worry, you know, and what that excitement is, is that we all do feel something is about to shift or change. And it is, I mean, as far as about to is concerned, about to could be a week, about to could be a month. It depends on the story and the arc and how big it is. 
But for everyone, it's about to. For you, it's about to. And today, you're feeling what it's about to uh, change to. So that's the electricness in the air. Now, your heart is what we have to keep in place here. But what I want to kind of warn you about is the old ego. All right? What I call the dumbass. And today, it is time for that old ego to completely surrender. In other words, uh, there may be inner little fights or temper tantrums in your heart today uh, because your ego is still wanting the old way to work. Your ego is not accepting that it's going to come a different way than you thought. It has to. Uh, Sensei will just tell you right now that like, uh, it's just that every so once in a while, God resets it and makes everything start over. <laughs> like, So if you didn't get to the top of the castle and there's a reset, all right, we get to the bottom. But... We know so much more. We can climb up. We can climb up. So uh, the old ego, uh, the one that's dying with the Mars retrograde, this it's a side of you uh, that's hard to let go of. And today might be one of those days. Today you have to let go of that old ego. Today you have to completely go limp with the old fight. Complete. You have to throw your hand over your mouth and not say anything. Okay? Uh, because And you might find yourself angry inside because... You want it this way and that way, uh, but it's not going to go the way you want. The other thing that came in spirit, too, was that uh, it's okay, absolutely okay, to change your beliefs on something. So you know how in politics we have this stigma for politicians flip-flopping? I think that's because, uh, you know, it seems that they're just doing it, you know, obviously to win the votes, right? But don't confuse that with a conscientious leader that changes their mind and leadership, including yourself, when your heart changes its opinion or your feelings change. So it's totally okay to change teams, all right? Whatever that means for you, wherever that means for you, it's totally okay to be changing teams. It's totally okay to be switching sides. There's a lot of people who are coming out of the closet as, you know, Bernie or Trump or Hillary voters or whatever, and, uh, you know, and that is symbolic as well. So, don't be ashamed for who you are. You don't have to tell everybody, but you definitely have to know where your heart is voting. And uh, that is what keeps you from getting lost today. And it also will keep you from the temper tantrum. So when the inner child is breaking, uh, breaking down and you know, pad, you know, pouting because it's not going his or her way today inside, you have to remind him or her, hey, we belong over here. This is where we belong, and we're just going to have to go over here. And, and until we get there, let's just relax and not worry about anything. And I think that's the best way to handle it. So uh, today, my friend, listen to your heart. Uh, let me give you the three points I want to leave you through the day. That's it. These are the three takeaways. Takeaway one, uh, listen to your feelings today. Listen to your feelings today. Uh, that will lead to your heart's desires. Takeaway number two, what passion do you quietly desire? So takeaway two is a question to ask yourself. What passion do you quietly desire? And takeaway three, accept the truth in your heart with no judgment. Accept the truth with zero judgment. Whatever it is, it's okay. Uh, and it will be okay because I said so. All right. And today on the Serious Joy Members menu, I'm going to do a pep talk about how to discover your truth in today's Zen. So click today's Zen to go on to that. And your eye candy at three, where do you dare to be you? So we're talking about where Uranus is in your chart and where you tend to be daring. So I'm giving you permission to Sensei to go for it. And uh, get uh, click on the Daily Zen. Also, everyone else, come on down to SeriousJoy.tv if you can uh, and check out all the cool new features I've added for our memberships. Uh, things are a little clunky in my delivery here maybe today because I'm in Mercury Retrograde. But uh, I'm trying to bring out a new me and I'd love for you to come see what that's about. That's at SeriousJoy.tv. All right, friends. And did you hear, bless you, Bella. She sneezed back there. <laughs> uh, there she goes again. Something about the, the hay fever she's having. Uh, I will see you tomorrow with our fun Friday show. Until then, remember, I do love you. And live, love, be. Can't find love? Hmm. That day is over. With Just 8 Numbers, we can reveal all your secrets to sex and love. We call it Secrets of Birthdays, the Love and Lust Report. Find out the secret to your heart at secretsofbirthdays.com.